Hello Taurus, this is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts with your intuitive channeled message. This is something that I wanted to do for every zodiac for the first half of December, along with the love forecast for the first half of the month. So definitely check out your love reading if you haven't already watched that. And there could be something in the messages that go together along with the channeled messages here. So this is general advice as always, much like a card reading without the cards. So let's go ahead and see what I'm able to tap into. And let's begin. All right, so what's coming forward to start off is that you're being directed to know and realize that things are going to change for the better. Maybe you've had a streak of bad luck not just necessarily tied into love and romance, but things will improve. So whatever heavy burden that you personally have been carrying, it's time to release that. It's time to let that go and surround yourself with people that can uplift you and work with you rather than people who work against you and the progress that you can make in your life. You know, there's no sense in concentrating or focusing on the regrets that you have in your life. It's time to put in the work. It's time to get going and move towards the future. And if you're just not seeing progress right now, just know that it might take a little bit of time, but it will be able to improve and get better. So this pertains to your love life. This pertains to perhaps your connections with friends or even work environment, even your family, and certainly when it comes to love and romance. I do see new love coming in, especially for my singles. I'm also feeling and seeing that you probably walked away from a toxic relationship where there were just too many conflicts, disagreements, arguments. You guys just weren't seeing eye to eye. I really do feel it could have been the divine feminine who probably cut out a masculine because there were just too, too many issues there. It could also be the masculine who's struggling as a result of this breakup. I don't feel that they're getting a whole lot of rest. They could be burning the candle at both ends. They could be having nightmares about the distance and time apart. But I also feel divine feminine that you will be able to attract a new relationship. It could be somebody, possibly an earth sign, so either Virgo, Capricorn, or another Taurus like yourself, somebody who could be quite established, maybe career-wise, they could be very successful. And clearly here, Taurus, you've been hurt. You know what it's like to have been disappointed in life as well as in love. Some of you guys could have been dealing with perhaps a Capricorn as well, who ended up hurting you or disappointing you. So interestingly enough, I'm picking up a lot of earth energy for my Tauruses. And it's, it's interesting too, in that you might have walked away, especially my divine feminines, you might have walked away from one earth sign in order to connect with another one. Take that if it makes sense, or they could have earth energy in their chart. You know, I feel right now for my Tauruses, you're quite focused on being able to achieve your goals in life. You know, you're really wanting to plan for a better future here. You're not just focused on one thing. You're focused on a lot of things right now to be able to build a life for yourself, to be able to create a lot of progress, you know. You've also experienced people who weren't exactly truthful with you, whether that was infidelity, whether that was cheating, whether they were just hiding things from you. It does not have to be limited to just romantic partnerships either. We're talking about people who were deceptive somehow, you know. For some of you, it could have been friends that you've known since you were young, childhood friends. For others, it could have been a romantic partner who was lying to you, who wasn't being honest with you. However, I really do pick up that romance will be quite prominent for you in the upcoming months, and perhaps early part of next year could really bring you a lot of love relationships with a lot of potential. So take your time really getting to know people and don't just dive in too quickly into connections. Really take the time to develop and to be able to grow those connections to choose the best person for you. Because I really feel you're going to have more than one person who's interested. Okay, now when it comes to your career, when it comes to your finances, I really do see future abundance for you. Things are going to be improving in that area. And in your love connection, there's even the potential for you to meet your 
twin flame or a very special soul connection in this lifetime. I don't think you've met this person yet, but I feel this next year of your life, perhaps a year from now, if you haven't already, there's a very special connection that you will make to give you a new beginning, certainly a new chapter when it comes to love and romance. So it's very important, Divine Feminine, that you really trust your heart and what you're feeling. And things are improving. We've seen that right from the very beginning, you know, where life is going to be changing. Life is going to lighten up a little bit and not be so heavy, not so many challenges, you know. I feel first and foremost for my Tauruses, you need to be able to commit to yourself before you commit to other people. You have to work on you first. That's what I'm feeling. It's time to be able to make smarter choices because I feel through some of the poorer choices that you have made, you've uh, kind of gotten yourself entangled either in drama or you were end ended up possibly feeling trapped in a situation that you struggled to get out of. Again, that doesn't have to just be romance. It could have been a work environment. It could have been a friendship that didn't go anywhere or somebody who disappointed you. I feel at this point in time, it's really important for you to concentrate on bringing balance back into your life. Focus on what means the most to you. Focus on what your goals are, your dreams are, whatever your wishes are, because you have the capability to make it happen. Your finances are really quite prominent for me at this point in time. I really do feel, especially for those who have struggled, I feel it quite heavily for my divine feminines that things will be so successful perhaps a year from now. So it requires patience. It requires hard work and dedication on your part. And again, just trust what you're feeling, the path that you are being led towards, because I really do see, especially when it comes to your finances, things are going to be improving in that area. And when it comes to my feminines, again, I feel you've always had a very giving heart, but you have to be mindful of not overextending yourself to where you have nothing, okay? But, you know, don't worry. I really do feel for my Tauruses that love is on the horizon. You are meant to find your one ideal mate in this lifetime. So try to not allow your fears to get in the way of being able to find that person. Try not to concentrate on the pain and disappointments that you have experienced in prior relationships because regret will not serve any sort of purpose for you in the future. I really do feel my Tauruses, you are driven to succeed, not only the remainder of this year, but also for 2023. I really do see you detaching and releasing things and people that no longer serve a purpose in your life and to be able to make different and wiser choices. That is what I see for you, Taurus. I hope there's something here that really offers you some advice that you could use. All right. So that's it for now, guys. Thank you so much for listening and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.